Hey, I'm comedian Haley Boyle, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about how my memory, overactive memory symptoms affect my life um, while I'm still wearing the Sully suit, but in slightly more flattering lighting. Whew, okay, um, having an overactive memory that comes with all these associations means that not only am I bombarded involuntarily uh, by all kinds of things, everything, 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 my mother's ever said to me, um, every face anyone's ever made to me, reactions, um, down, I mean, it's literally every little thing. I don't, I don't know how to, but that's not the point. The point is, is it also has these other issues that come with it. Like, for example, uh, if I get the impression that a date is going to be on a Monday, then like that's sort of just that set in stone and if I'm wrong then I blow it because no amount of correct information will change my initial impression and belief which is really frustrating it makes me seem super flaky sometimes but I you know I've learned a lot of coping mechanisms to try and get around these things a lot of double checking I use you know paper calendars and I make sure that I double check and triple check before I actually write anything down because writing it down will you know, put it into stone. Um, I actually missed an intake once for a mental health program because I was so sure that the 18th was a Monday um, that I missed the appointment. And boy, were they shitty and mad about it. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, is there a mental health treatment facility? You think you'd kind of be a little more understanding that people make sometimes really simple mistakes even though they're smart, capable people. Um, but it means that maneuvering through everyday life is just crazy hard, especially if I'm alone. Um, and a lot of people have accused me of being a pussy, basically. Um, you know, because I don't like to do things like go to the grocery store alone and things like that. Um, because it's way too much input. It's sensory overload. And if there isn't another person there with me, then it's basically there's too many variables. I mean, obviously I have to do it anyway, but it is absolutely exhausting and I mean that's just one example um going to the post office that's like mm. <laughs> if I have to go to the post office it's gonna be a while before I actually manage to go unless somebody can go with me um and I know this seems strange for someone that can stand up on a stage in front of thousands of people and be absolutely overjoyed about it um but on stage is the one place where I actually understand what I'm supposed to do and it's not hard for me to do it um, so it's the best thing I get to do and acting's pretty dope too because again I you know there's someone telling you exactly what they want and then you get to create it I don't know it's just incredibly satisfying I feel very comfortable I used before I tried acting I thought it was gonna be crazy hard but um, also too if you're on a decent enough production then get, like assign you someone basically to kind of keep you in a good mood and make you feel safe and comfortable and hold your hand which is ideal for me if I can have someone hold my hand I could be a superstar um, but it makes it difficult to forgive because I can't forget period it oh my god I'm talking like I'm voice to texting as I've been isolated for almost two weeks now um, just makes everything that should be simple not simple everything is complicated and it makes people extremely frustrated with me and lose patience with me and yell at me and that feeds into the problem because when they blow up on me that stays with me so for them it's blowing off steam for me it's another thing that I have to contend with all the time another fear factor another everything so I mean it's really just the tip of the iceberg I'm so tired man Wish me luck.